I'd like to introduce and I'd like you to welcome Paula Pennypacker. Yeah. My name is Paula Pennypacker and I am a common sense Republican. But I am also a woman. I am here today to say that today's Republican Party is unacceptable to me. As former presidential candidate John Huntsman recently said, gone are the days when the Republican Party brought forward big, bold, visionary ideas. I am also here to tell you that the Arizona Republican Party has been taken over by a bunch of Tea Party zealots who are attempting to turn the party away from women. Republicans at our national ca nation's capital and at Arizona's capital are passing legislation that are salvos to rolling back all the progress we have made towards equal rights. Who could have imagined that in 2012 that female legislators would be pushing a bill, tell your boss why you're on the pill? I still can't believe this was brought forward by a woman. Someone needs to tell Representative Lesko, Senator Bartow, that it's no one's business why you are on the pill. That is between you and your doctor. This issue was settled over a decade ago. Republican women like Linda Binder of Lake Havasu, Susan Gerard of Phoenix, Roberta Voss of Glendale, all former Republican lawmakers. These brave Republican women passed a bill over a decade ago telling insurance companies they must provide fair compensation for contraception. The very bill, the very bill extreme Republicans are now trying to repeal. And by the way, that law was passed in response to insurance companies providing coverage for a little blue pill for men. Someone, else, someone should also tell, ask Ms. Lesko why men are not also mandated to the same invasive questioning about their health care and their sex habits as women. Because if men are not questioned as women are, then that is indeed discrimination. I want all of you today to understand that not all Republicans are okay with allowing employers to deny their female employees insurance coverage for contraception. It's not okay. This issue is not about freedom of religion. That's a ruse. How can it be about freedom from religion if only a few religions are represented? How can it be about freedom from anything if we have employer-controlled contraception? I stand before you today to voice my opposition to every law that has been recently passed by legislatures across the country that are designed to offend, humiliate, alienate, and subjugate women. <laughs> Tell your boss why you are on the pill. That is so offensive. Whether you consider yourself to be pro-choice or pro-life, the one thing we can all agree on, agree on is we are all pro-women and we are all pro-prevention. We are all here today gathered to ask Governor Brewer to please veto the Lesko bill. Another message we women need to send to extremists like Sheriff Joe Arpaio is that chasing busboys 
and hotel workers is not more important than investigating sex crimes against women and children. The message we need to send to Sheriff Joe Arpaio is, it's not okay to waste tens of millions of our tax dollars when that money is desperately needed for child protection services, children's health care, and educating our children. The message we need to send to Joe Arpaio is, it's not okay to misappropriate over $100 million of our tax money in the mismanagement of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. And that is why I started my Purple Letter campaign calling for Sheriff Joe Arpaio to resign. The reign of terror this man has had over this state should never have been allowed to happen. This is not a red issue or a blue issue. This is a purple issue. Those of us who are on the center right and the center left are tired of having our voices squeezed out by extremist Republicans like Sheriff Joe Arpaio and his enablers. Why is it that not one Republican elected official has called for Sheriff Joe Arpaio to resign? Why is that? <laughs> Listen to what one of the supporters of my Purple Letter campaign had to say about my calling for Sheriff Joe Arpaio to resign. Turns out the only Republican man with balls enough to speak the truth about Joe Arpaio is a woman! I guess that comment adds new meaning to if you want something done, you gotta ask a woman. <laughs> yes, my fellow Arizonans, the time has come for anyone seeking your vote in 2012, you ask them one question. Are you for Arpaio or are you against Arpaio? Finally, <laughs> finally, I am the example of how Republicans used to be. How Republicans should be. We are the party of smaller, limited government, but they have gone too far. So today I want to send one last message to all the good old boys who now control the, the, the GOP and are looking to take control of the White House in 2012. It is not okay to pay men more than women for equal work. It's not okay. And if that means putting a woman in the White House, consider it done. Will, will, we, will we see a female in the White House in our lifetime? Yes, we will. Ladies, you are hearing my voice today. All of Arizona is hearing your voice today. We need to just remember one last thing. United we stand, divided we fall. The politics of polarization may have worked to divide Democrats and Republicans, but polarization will never work to divide we women. As we stand today more united than ever, I would like to thank UniteWomen.org for having me here today. I'd like to thank Karen Bravo for an amazing event. I'd like to thank all of you very, very, very much for having a Republican come and speak to you today. Thank you very much.